Hi everybody, wanted to get an ab set for you today. So let's do an ab set, all right? Feet are gonna come hip distance apart and parallel. Thumbs are gonna come to the top of your thighs, fingertips are gonna wrap behind them. Then you're gonna pop your elbows wide out to the side. Now in this position, I should feel really comfortable. I should just feel like I'm sitting. Then I'm gonna pull my belly into my spine, rounding my back. So see the difference there? So from here to here, okay? Round your back belly, and if you know how to get there, just get there now. You'll get a little more time in the ab position. I'm gonna take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale, start to roll down now, one vertebrae at a time. Walk your feet a little closer to you as you do that. Elbows stay wide. See how I still have that C-shape with my body, so I don't have a V-shape here. I'm not kind of just hanging out here holding on. I'm pulling my belly in, and now give me a deep tuck of your tailbone. So tuck your hips under. Hold here. I'm going to show you what that tuck looks like if I come to a kneeling position. So I want you to take your tailbone, and I want you to scoop it under like that while you're in this low position. And that's what's going to help you dig into your lower abs. They're just going to hold in that position. So you don't want to release that tuck. You just want to hold a deep tuck of your tailbone. Now your elbows are wide. You should have a light grip on your thighs at this point. My chin is well above my knee. So I'm looking down at my knee. That's how I know I'm in a position where I can let go with my hands. I'm going to make loose fists, little taps here. Tap and tap, tap and tap. So if you're holding on for that whole set, if your abs are probably really tired already, which is great. Shoulder blades are pulled back. You can make this a little bigger. If you make it bigger, you're going to get into your obliques. Right down here, right? You're getting into your obliques. Do a few more of these. Option to hold back on in five, four, three, two, and one. Hold back on, elbows wide. If you don't want to hold back on, you're going to hold here, just like that. Take a deep breath, inhale if you've held back on. Now use this as an opportunity to reset your form. Deep breath, inhale. Exhale, round back belly and tuck those hips again. You probably lost that tuck. Hands off, loose fists, little tap, 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 tap. Little higher. Inhale, exhale. Now these are really quick taps, right? We're gonna do 30 of these, but with your biceps by your ears, okay? It's gonna be hard, but you only have to do 30. I want you to see how quick these are. We've already almost done 60 of them in the center. That's how quick this goes by. All right, biceps by ears, just 30. Here we go, let's tap. Tap, 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 ten, done. Shoulders are relaxed. Belly in, plant those feet into the ground. Last ten, nine, eight, seven. You're gonna hold on one, do not sit up for four, three, two, one. Just hold back on, try not to sit up. Elbows stay wide. Belly in, hips tucked. Chin is above those knees. Curl, uncurl. Curl, uncurl. Hands off here. Curl, uncurl. Curl, uncurl. Now what I want you to do is curl your top rib right over your bottom rib. So curl, uncurl. So see the shape I'm making here? I'm making a C shape. So think about your ribs getting closer to your hips and your shoulders are just along for the ride. Your neck is along for the ride. Your head is along for the ride. Everything is coming from this deep movement. A little faster, just curl, curl. I'll come back into position. You should have been there the entire time. If you're new to bar, then maybe you kind of watch that set up a little more intently. Next time you can keep curling that entire set, just curl, curl. See how the movement is smaller? Now you want to make this, take this up a little bit. Arms come into that diagonal shape there. Puts a little more weight into those obliques. Belly's pulled in. C shape with your upper body there. See that C shape? Tuck those hips under, last 10 counts. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now you get to sit up. Grab your shins, press your chest forward, open up your chest. Inhale, exhale. Our next position, you're going to stay holding on unless you practice bar and you practice curl a lot. Otherwise, it's a very specific position, very hard to let go. Thumbs come on top of your thighs, fingers wrap behind, elbows wide out to the side. Same set as before in terms we're going to start with rolling down. This time you're going to roll down six vertebrae. Here we go. Six, five, four, three, two, and one, walk those feet a little closer. Now I'm looking up at my knees, up at them. That makes it harder. Hold on, inhale and exhale, hold and breathe. Every time you breathe, pull your abs in, tuck your hips under, but hold those positions. So I don't want you to release like this, just hold. If you can, right hand off, just hold and breathe. I'm gonna drop my arms so you can see the C shape right here. I'm looking up at my knees. Really hard to let go, hold back on, left hand. 
Just breathe. Hold on for dear life with your right hand. Your bicep should be bulging. It's really hard. Inhale, exhale, hold back on. Catch your breath. Exhale. Right hand off. 10, 9. Belly and hips tucked. Hold on for three, two. Hold back on. Left hand. Hold. Hold. Breathe and breathe. Try not to come up. Stay low. You should be uncomfortable in your abs. You hear my voice shaking. Hold back on. Those are my abs working. Little curls, curl, curl, curl. So if I make this big, now I'm using my arms to pull myself up. I can feel my neck straining already. I don't want to do that. All I want to do is take my top rib, curl it over my bottom. Just a little curl and curl, curl. Elbows wide. Look at those biceps. I know some of you are strong enough to do this. Both hands off. Just 10. Here we go. It's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. You should want to hold back on, but you're not going to. Last two counts here, two and one. Pull yourself up, cross your legs. Take a little twist over to your right side. Now, as you take this twist, I want you to look behind you. So your neck fully twists. Now try and grow a little taller. Press into your back fingertips. Inhale, exhale. I'm going to switch sides here. So switch to the other side. Again, grow taller. You could use your right hand pressing into your left thigh to open up your chest. Look all the way behind you. Inhale, exhale. Last set, you're almost done here, all right? Let's lie down, bring our legs into a tabletop position, elbows wide, curl your shoulders off the mat. Deep breath, inhale. Exhale, breathe out. Little curls. We're gonna move into our lower abs next. This is your last upper ab set. Keep curling here. Again, think about that top rib going right over that bottom rib. Reason I'm breathing, that lets your abs know it's time to work, okay? That exertion, you actually need it in order to get yourself up there. So think curl, 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 curl. You can hear my voice shake even as I sit here? That's how much I'm using just my abs. I'm not using my shoulders at all, not using my neck. If you'd like to, you can take those hands off. Hands off. Just 10 more. 10, 9, 8. Seven, knees are right over hips. Don't let them come closer. For three, two, just lie down, point, toes point to the ceiling. Bend and stretch those legs. Bend and stretch. Little bend and stretch. Palms face the ceiling. We don't want to use our hands, okay? Now, if you're going to get any hip flexor issues here, you're going to take your mat and you're going to roll it underneath your glutes. Just your glutes. See if they give my glutes a little bit of a lift? I'm not putting them under my back. That's going to take the work out of my abs, okay? Another way to modify this is to bend your knees in half and just a little presses out, out. So you're not going to do the bend stretch. You take this modification. Everyone's back should be pressed into the mat. If a stream of water were to come through this room, it could not fit underneath you. Ten more. Here we go. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and knees into your chest, rock side to side. Take a quick reset there. Legs in tabletop now for everybody. Right leg goes out for two, left for two, right two. All right, this is not a bicycle crunch here, okay? So we're not doing this massive bicycle crunch. The reason it's not is when you do a bicycle crunch, your knee comes all the way in like this, right? All the way in. That actually gives you a little bit of relief. It does crunch your obliques. We're just doing a different movement right now. So instead of bringing your knee all the way in and losing kind of a shape, you can see as my leg comes in, I lose that shape. I want you to stop your knee right at hip height, hip level, stop. So sometimes during class, I'll come around and I'll put my hands here to get you to stop. That's what I want you to do to yourself right now. So think of your knee stopping right over your hip. It's out and out, out and out. So I have a tendency for my back to kind of pop off the mat like that. See other space underneath my back here? My job is to pull my belly and tuck my hips under so that I don't have to worry about it. Last 10, 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Toes point right to the ceiling. Try not to take that break. Inhale, exhale. It's bend and stretch. Little bend and stretch. And bend and stretch. Again, modification. Drop your leg, uh, shins in half, knees over hips, and just go out an inch, pull in an inch. Little out, pull in. Little out. Pull it, or it's bend and stretch, bend 
and stretch. You're asking your abs to hold the weight of your legs. Maybe drop those toes a little further away from you into diagonal. Now, if some of you are going to go way further than me, the minute I drop to here, my back pops off the mat. I can feel it. It's all in my hips now. I have to stay in a smaller range of movement. Totally fine. Inhale, exhale. Hold wherever you are. We're just going to hold here and breathe. Hold and breathe. Inhale, exhale. The shaking's good. Embrace that feeling. Palms to the ceiling. Don't use your arms. Don't use your shoulders. Inhale, exhale. Just breathe, belly in, hips tucked, back flat. Inhale, exhale, you can do this. Don't drop those legs. Hold here, 10, hold nine. Happy baby, in six, five, four, three, two, and one, release. Happy baby stretch. Reach for the insoles of your feet, rock side to side. If you're wondering what that looks like from that angle, it looks like this. Reaching for the insoles of your feet, Rocking side to side. And then flip on over onto your belly. I'm going to come into a Sphinx pose here just to finish class off. So Sphinx pose here, shoulders over elbows. Relax those glutes. Tendency to tense them out. We're almost done. Tuck your hips under. Pull your chest through your arms. It's an active stretch. I'm not hanging out like this. I'm actually pulling my elbows into my waist, dragging them on the carpet. Pulling my shoulder blades back, gaze goes forward. Feel this stretch out your abs. Inhale, exhale. And then press back into a child's pose. Palms face the ceiling, thumbs pull down toward the mat. You're gonna finish here. Inhale and exhale. Let's take three breaths there. Stay in your folded position. Inhale and exhale. Powerful back breaths. One more. And you're all done with abs. Make sure you warm up before you do that set. And this goes at the end of class if you're following these videos in a bar order. Thanks for coming.